um, Yuho for your kind uh, introduction and thank you 6G Forum for I inviting me for inviting me to this um, um, conference. Um, so today I will be talking about uh, a sustainable 6G and uh, you have heard today the, the word sustainability has been mentioned uh, in every single uh, presentation uh, and I think it is something important. I will focus only on the sus sustainability aspect of 6G. 6G. Um, just uh, before starting, I would like to spend just a few moments uh, uh, briefly in, uh, introducing the, the 6G flagship program in Finland and then I will go uh, through our approach to sustainable 6G and then finally I will present uh, uh, an example of a project, an European project, SNS, which um, is uh, focused on this uh, sustainable uh, system, how to do sustainability in, in a very uh, wide sense. So our 6G flagship uh, was established in 2018, so we are on the fifth year. And um, the total uh, budget of this uh, um, initiative is 250 uh, million euros. And we have also decided to extend for two more years uh, till uh, 2028 this uh, program. It is operated by our university, University of, university of Oulu. And we have at the moment about 500 researchers from 50 nationalities. And we have been producing several uh, 6G-related white papers. Uh, actually, there are 13. And they have been down downloaded more than one million times. Uh, and um, in these five years, we have produced like uh, 2,600 uh, uh, peer-reviewed uh, papers and um, so on. Um, so our vision for, for 6G uh, shortly uh, is that uh, in the next decade we will be living in a data-driven society uh, which will be enabled by near instant uh, unlimited wireless connectivity. Um, so 6G for us is not just communications and we have heard today it, it is much more than that uh, and in our case we have uh, uh, 6G um, flagship uh, um, divided into four strategic research areas. One is related to uh, communications, wireless connectivity solutions. The other is uh, device and, and, uh, and new material uh, circuit technologies, mostly because we will be using high, higher frequencies than, than normally. Then we have the computer part and distributed com uh, 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 computing and uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, finally, um, services. So, uh, so these are the four key groups uh, in the 6G flagship. And we have also um, identified key verticals like health, uh, industry, vehicular, and energy. And um, so we do not develop technology for the sake of developing technologies. Uh, we need to have clear uh, business behind and um, vertical. So we have an uh, uh, um, uh, important group w w uh, working on develop developing uh, businesses. Uh, and we also follow regulations. Uh, um, but um, um, also, we need to develop a system which is sustainable. And this, this is, once again, the subject of my presentation. Uh, if you want to uh, read these 13 white papers or, or some magazines that we've been publishing, you have here some information about our websites. But let me now start uh, with uh, the main uh, topic today. Um, I think if we consider the development of previous generation from the first generation all the way to the fifth generation, uh, this development has been driven by uh, capabilities and performance. Um, but uh, I think now it's high time to think the cost to be paid for achieving such a performance, such a capabilities. I think this is important. And, and um, in general, when we talk about wireless communication systems and sustainability, uh, we may mean two different things. On one hand, the wireless communication system for sustainability meaning how those systems will support uh, uh, um, 
sustainability from the economic, uh, environmental, and social point of view, as defined by the UN Sustainable Development Goals. On the other hand, those wireless communication systems have to be themselves sustainable. And my talk today will be particularly in that aspect, uh, um, how we will guarantee that our wireless communication systems will be sustainable. So in the first approach, uh, we see wireless communication systems as a part of the solution. So they, they are a part of the solution towards or for sustainability. But if we don't de develop a sustainable wireless communication system, we may be a part of the problem. So we need to work hard uh, 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 to uh, uh, develop a communication system that is truly sustainable. Um, over the past, we have been uh, discussing about uh, uh, sustainability, um, but um, and today we talk a lot about sustainability, but uh, in most of the cases we refer, when talking about sustainability, to energy issues, how to have energy efficiency in the system uh, from circuit level all the way to the network, how to use low power solutions, how to maybe harvest energy, how to uh, be also spectrally efficient. Uh, so these have a, 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 a huge impact on sustainability. Uh, but if you think, maybe 10, 15 years ago, we were talking about green communications. There was a, a, a huge hype on this. Uh, and we were anyway using the same uh, 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 um, parameters, energy. And um, we believe that that sustainability should be seen from a much wider um, um, perspective. Uh, and this will be my main point, point today. When you see the timeline of a product being the product, uh, 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 anything related to communication from a, a mobile device, a base station, or the complete network, uh, we start with the system development, then uh, we have the, the useful life of the system, and the end of the life. Um, so, um, first we design, then we implement, then we, oper we use it. Uh, in this operation, we may also need to do some maintenance, modifications, reconfigurations, and so on. And then, at the end of the life, a disposal. Um, we, th we think that that sustainability should be approached in a holistic way, considering uh, uh, um, all these four uh, aspects, and particularly being proactive at the design part. So uh, sustainability should be sustainable, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, wireless communication system, sorry, should be sustainable by design, sustainable by implementation. We should uh, have a sustainable use of the system, and finally, a, a sustainable disposal. Um, so I will briefly touch um, each of those uh, um, aspects. Uh, sustainable by design, what can we do by design? We can do uh, a lot of things and we have most of flexibility there. I here have a, a few examples, but these are just very limited. Uh, um, uh, about energy efficient communications at the link level, we can talk uh, or, or, or work uh, or investigate modulation schemes, resource allocations, passive communications, wireless energy transfer, etc. At network level, uh, we can uh, um, um, de develop uh, um, MAC protocols, resource allocations, routing, uh, wake up, uh, things that are related to energy efficiency. We can do um, also uh, uh, the spectral um, uh, or achieve uh, or, or so target spectral efficient communications. And uh, again, at the link level, at the network level, uh, um, there are uh, listed several approaches that we can use. We can also use, I mentioned here because I am uh, quite uh, heavily involved in optical wireless communications, we, we may also use uh, um, optical wireless communications to save spectrum. Um, it has impact on the architecture, uh, um, and for instance, we are working on, on, on a sustainable network selection, how to select the network based on sustainability issues. 
um, sustainable implementation, of course, at the end of the day, we need to implement whatever system, the complete network or some part of it. Um, so it, it, uh, we, uh, we can do uh, uh, many things to have a, impl a sustainable implementation. We can use common components. We can use some uh, uh, sustainable technologies like printed electronics, eventually biodegradable electronics. We can prefer to use uh, abundant materials or elements on the earth. Uh, we can uh, support the use of ecological and durable parts, uh, and recyclable parts. Uh, we can reuse other uh, uh, components, for instance. We would avoid using uh, elements which come from conflict areas. But also, w what sort of energy we need to manufacture those components. Uh, um, um, how sustainable is the manufacturing process itself and the manufacturing process of the system. So all those things should be in principle considered. Um, uh, sustainable by usage. Um, so what can we do uh, uh, to be sustainable while we use something? Of course, uh, we could use renew renewable energy in some cases we can use energy autonomous solutions like battery less operation if we can harvest energy in some, uh, for some devices. Uh, we would prefer to use energy efficient and low power uh, solutions. And also uh, um, we should uh, try to design a system which is uh, like maintenance free, uh, that we don't need to change batteries for instance, or we can do the remote a remote maintenance, also uh, modif modifiability and reconfigurability should be part of this. If there is a, a change in the system or in the standard, maybe, and it could be done uh, uh, like by software, this will be uh, something uh, highly desirable. And then at the end of the use, at the end of the life, uh, so disposing the um, equipment or eventually reusing it. Um, so these are the, the most important uh, things. So I highlight this holistic approach to sustainability as we see uh, is based on these four principles, sustainable by design, uh, uh, by implementation, uh, by usage and by disposal. And we also think that, that in order to understand better the sustainability, we need to create methodologies to the assessment, how uh, we need to develop metrics for measuring sustainability and comparing uh, uh, solutions, eventually devices, eventually networks. Uh, um, there are some ideas already, but, but they, they, they are not well uh, um, used, uh, are not well developed. Um, and finally, uh, another issue of importance is uh, the standards. Um, should standards uh, uh, also take uh, uh, or define sustainability figures uh, uh, um, people, consumers, or uh, uh, at the consumer level, or, or users of, of uh, equipment like operators uh, should compare different options based also on sustainability. Um, as a way of example, I would like to um, now um, highlight one project, European project, uh, Smart Networks and Services, which was uh, um, started at the, at the beginning of this year. And in this project, we try to ap apply these four principles uh, uh, in the IoT. Uh, and I am uh, the coordinator of this project. Um, the idea behind this is the following. I think everyone has heard that, that uh, IoT, uh, or the projections for IoT, that there will be uh, uh, in the next decade tens or even hundreds of billions of devices. So if we think the price that we need to pay to manufacture hundreds of, of billions of devices eventually, uh, that we need to change batteries of those devices. Then at, at the end of the life, we, we will have a huge amount, hundreds of billions eventually, of electronic waste. Uh, so can we do it differently? So uh, uh, this project, uh, Super IoT, 
the name comes from truly sustainable printed electronic based IoT combining optical and radio wireless um, technologies. Um, so we have 11 partners uh, from um, Europe and um, the idea here is to develop something which is uh, uh, um, truly sustainable. Um, of course, being IoT a system which is much less complex uh, and in terms of uh, um, uh, uh, specification less demanding than the cellular system, for instance, so it is something a relatively simpler uh, problem to solve, though there are a lot of challenges here. Um, so the idea here is to develop an IoT system which uh, is sustainable by design and by implementation and by usage and, and so on. And this system uh, will be uh, based on, on the IoT node uh, uh, side on a battery-less, uh, so zero energy device. So we will be using the lighting infrastructure and we will be using uh, 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 to provide connectivity, we will be using the lighting infrastructure to also to harvest the light. But on top of this, we will be using the radio infrastructure. So we will be uh, uh, using light and radio in a system which is highly adaptable, reconfigurable, and flexible. And um, since the IoT nodes are relatively uh, uh, simple, we will try to use as much as possible printed electronics. So, so in this um, project, we use light and radio for wireless connectivity, light and radio for energy harvesting, and light and radio for uh, positioning. Uh, so we, we see here on the uh, right hand side the key, uh, key principle. In the lower part, we see an IoT device which is connected or could be connected to light, access, or radio, uh, access point and optical access point, and and um, and we use uh, um, uh, once again printed electronics for the uh, implementation. Unfortunately, printed electronics is not uh, um, as mature as uh, conventional silicon-based electronics in a way that we can have any sort of component and and, and microprocessors or microcontrollers uh, today. Uh, so, um, in this project, most of the uh, development will be based on, on a hybrid IoT node, so part will be silicon-based and part will be uh, printed, uh, using printed um, electronics. Um, here, there are some prototypes that, that we did in our lab, like uh, two different uh, um, IoT nodes. Uh, um, like we have some printed uh, solar cells, printed displays, some some uh, few other printed components. Uh, um, these nodes are working only on uh, optical information, light. Uh, uh, but now we are de development developing uh, these dual modes, and um, so the idea here is like uh, as soon as you are exposed. Uh, to light, you are connected to the internet. You can uh, send um, information in, in, uh, using the visible light in the downlink, and we use uh, um, uh, infrared invisible light in the uplink. Uh, and uh, once again, these are battery-less. We all the energy that we need for for the processing and sensing and so on comes from, in this case, only for, for from the uh, um, uh, harvesting of uh, optical or light energy, uh, but in, in, in this new project we have also harvesting for, from the radio. Um, so one of the ideas here is like in the future, and one, this is one of the goals of the project, th that we, we will be able to do fully printed, like a sticker, uh, if you will, uh, like um, uh, IoT nodes, so basically they could be extremely low cost and highly uh, sustainable. Eventually, with the uh, development of uh, uh, biodegradable electronics, uh, so we will be able just to throw these uh, uh, to uh, it will degrade uh, naturally 
uh, without any, any uh, environmental issue. So in this project, we are building different sort of, uh, so this is a, a project in which we de develop the ideas, but we also have a, a proof of concept and we have uh, several uh, demonstrators uh, uh, and one, one will be like a fully, uh, uh, a full, uh, uh, fully capability um, node. Uh, once again, with dual mode for communication, dual mode for energy harvesting, and dual mode for localization. But the sec uh, one of the demonstrators, number three, will be a fully printed uh, 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 um, IoT node. It will be uh, relative uh, or extremely simple because we cannot have something very uh, um, complex at this point. But still, we want to demonstrate. Uh, uh, that it is uh, possible to have a fully printed IoT node, uh, and maybe as printed electronics technology develops, uh, we will be able to have more uh, to add more functionalities. And then we will also we will uh, use uh, uh, um, uh, RIS um, uh, surfaces also to enhance capability of the node. We will build a demonstrator for that, and finally we will have a demonstrator like how to use such a such a system in, in a medical uh, healthcare, like we will have several, uh, a, a large network of, of, of nodes uh, connected to, to the network. And uh, in the hospital, we will demonstrate if we go sometimes to some, um, just an, as an example, to if we want to exchange sensitive information or we are in an uh, environment where interference is an issue, we will prefer to use uh, light. Um, uh, otherwise, we will use light and, and radio depending on the performance. We may use light and radio at the same time. Uh, uh, um, um, these kind of things will be uh, um, demonstrated. So uh, the visions of the project, uh, once again, uh, we believe that in the future we will have uh, um, fully printed, uh, reconfigurable uh, optical radio IoT nodes. And we will demonstrate this with something which will be not that uh, advanced, but we will have advanced uh, nodes as described in a hybrid mode. Um, um, in, we believe that in the future those will be uh, really in, in, inexpensive. It could, it, they could cost a few cents. And so this will give rise to the uh, novel use, particularly we believe that massive sensing and massive actuation done in a very sustainable way, that we can uh, sense virtually everything, the state of, of, of everything uh, in, in the city, in, in um, agriculture, uh, in our home offices, and in um, factories, and so on. Um, so, I think that to conclude my presentation, once again, uh, uh, sustainable uh, uh, communication is very important. Uh, it has to be approached in a holistic manner. Uh, we have to consider uh, things beyond uh, energy issues. Energy is extremely important, but there are many other things um, that also have to be considered. Um, we need to work uh, 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 more toward a definition of sustainability for wireless communication systems. We need to develop uh, 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 metrics to quantify sustainability. Um, so we believe that, that uh, uh, we, uh, we need to create a truly sustainable wireless communication system. I use the word truly sustainable just to highlight that, that it, it should be sustainable in a wide sense. And in our small project, IoT is a, a, a small example, still challenging, in which we target uh, this uh, uh, as, uh, as a hopefully motivating case, showing that sustainable things can be developed. Thank you.